Let's take a look how to warp text here in After Effects. Select the Type tool and I'm going to type in Panther, press the letter S, scale it up, arrange it to the center. Also make sure the paragraph is center text, double click and I'm going to type in Vision and Panther again. And from here I'm going to select Vision and Panther, press Ctrl C, click here at the end, Enter, Ctrl V and I'm going to go Vision again. And I'm going to select the top text, select all, press Ctrl C, click here, enter, Ctrl V. I'm going to position it into the center and I'm going to recolor the words so it's going to create some contrast. So I'm going to double click, select the vision and I'm going to go here to the fill and choose a color. Click OK and I'm going to select the other vision text and select the eyedropper tool from here and select the purple from the vision text at the top and do the same with the rest. I'm also going to repaint the panther in orange and I'm going to scale it until it's going to fit and be close to the artboard. And I'm going to go to the composition, composition settings and I'm going to decrease the height until it's going to get close to the text. 810, click OK. I'm going to go and rename the layer text and let's go to the effects and presets type in warp and let's select the mesh warp drag and drop on the text it is going to create these grid lines i'm going to need to decrease this from seven to three columns also to three and i'm going to activate the distortion mesh there you go and i'm going to bring this to the 15th frame and here you can see we got these corners. I'm going to click on one of these. So it's going to highlight one of the anchor points. Press and hold shift and select the horizontal anchor points at the top at the center part right here. And from here, press and hold shift and press the upper arrow. So it's going to stretch it out to the top. I'm going to go something like this. I'm going to go with the bottom lines as well. Press and hold shift, select them all. Press and hold shift press the down arrow, I'm going to eyeball it and I'm going to select the vertical lines, press and hold shift and then press and hold shift and press the right arrow. Do the same with the left and let's see the animation. It looks something like this. I'm going to select the text, press the letter U to highlight the keyframes and I'm going to bring this to the first second and I'm going to go and add another keyframe here. So it's going to remain the same and I'm going to go to the 15th frame, select the first keyframe, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So it's going to add it here and let's see what we got. It is going to stretch it like this. I'm also going to select all the keyframes or right click on one of the keyframes, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease. So this is going to make the animation more smoother. And now I'm going to go to the graph editor, select all the bottom anchor points at once and drag the left handle to the left side. And now it's going to start faster and it's going to slow down. And I'm also going to search for invert and drag the invert on the text. And this is going to change up the colors. You also can change it from RGB to red to green and so on and so forth. I'm thinking to go with green and I'm going to bring this at the beginning. It is going to start with and it's going to start with orange cyan. I'm going to go and activate the blend with original stopwatch and I'm going to bring it to the 15th frame. I'm going to increase all the way to 100%. Good. And I'm going to bring it here, press the letter U, U again. So it's going to highlight the keyframes. I'm going to add another keyframe here and bring it to the 15th frame. And I'm going to select the first keyframe, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So it's going to go back to normal. I'm also going to select all the keyframes, right click, go to Easy Ease, go to the graph editor, select all the anchor points at the center. And let's go and drag the left handle to the left side. And here we have it. And this is how you stretch text here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.